Guess what? It's been a year, a whole year since we started the light fastness test. Light fastness is how resistant your art materials are to UV light. Sunlight and even fluorescent light can make the colors of your art fade over time. That's not good. While companies will perform their own light fastness test, I wanted to try my own little experiment. So I made some swatches of my favorite art supplies and I put them in direct light, both natural and artificial. It's been one whole year, so I'm super excited to see if there's any changes. Now down to the hobbit hole to get the control sample. The control sample has been kept in a drawer away from light for over a year, so the colors should be as vibrant as the day I painted them. The Windsor and Newton watercolors are showing no signs of fading. That's good but the Supervision brand of watercolors does seem to be a bit lighter. Can you see it? Bombay India inks, Higgins Black ink, and the Liquitex acrylic seem all fine too. Natural light, direct sunlight, had a much more noticeable effect on some of these. Supervision's colors clearly don't have the same light fastness as Windsor and Newton. Look at how much they faded. I'd never used Supervision, but they had sent me a set of their watercolors last year, so this was a good comparison adding an unknown brand with the professional brands I usually use. The rest held up really well against direct sunlight, which makes me happy since I use them a lot. Okay, second swatch is watercolor pencils. The first set are Car and Dosh. They're a high-end brand, so I'm a little disappointed that they faded a little bit. Look, the next watercolor pencils were by Pentel. They're cheaper and didn't fare much better. Look at how much this blue faded. But the next one surprised me a bit. Windsor & Newton watercolor markers. What's going on here? I'm sure it has something to do with the fact that they had to turn watercolors into markers, but this isn't good. Windsor & Newton gouache and Holbein acrylic gouache both did great, naturally. And we finish off with more acrylics and a Sharpie, which predictably did show fading. On to the natural light samples. The Caran d'Ache actually didn't do too bad, so that's good. The Pentels did worse, look at that, and the blue is almost completely gone. The Windsor & Newton watercolor marker faded a little bit too, but the rest of them all seem to handle it pretty well, all except for the Sharpie. Now, these are all professional art materials, so what happens if you use something made for kids? like Crayola watercolors. Well, I did a little test and this was how much they faded in just three months. Isn't that crazy? And this is what it looks like after five months, not even half the amount of time for the earlier test. This is why light fastness is important if you want your art to last a while. Reputable brands will have a light fastness rating on the packaging, though I'm not sure I trust them explicitly. I always keep my art out of direct sunlight, and if it's gonna be displayed on a wall, I get UV resistant glass to protect it. So that's my completely scientific, 100% foolproof light fastness test, year one. I'll just put these back and I'll check back in another year and see what happens. You know, for science and art.